of a Baloo High School student. His name, Jovan Patterson Smith. He died 19 days after being attacked inside of his classroom, police say, over his cell phone. Jovan was a senior. He was going to graduate in May. Family members say the teen lived with special needs and was often bullied. WSA 9's Michael Quander breaks down some of your questions about the case. Yeah, guys, and ever since we broke this story yesterday, people have been sounding off on social media. It's been shared more than 800 times on Facebook alone. So we wanted to just jump right in and get to some of your questions. And the first one comes from Candy, who asks, why no arrest? Well, right now, police are considering this case a death investigation and not a homicide. But that initial offense that happened right here inside of Baloo High School was considered a simple assault. Well, as of right now, it is not clear if the school has taken any disciplinary action against those students who were allegedly involved in this. And police say this is an ongoing investigation. And the next question came from Marcus, who asks, why is there so little information in this case? And that's because police are only releasing what little information you can find in this police report. As far as the school district is concerned, they're being quiet about this and refusing to say anything. Since yesterday, they referred all of our questions to police. Now, this next question is an important one. Beth asks, how long after the attack did he die? Now, let's be clear. Javon was attacked three weeks ago on January 10th. He reported this whole thing to police the next day when he was in the hospital. Family members say he stayed there for about a week and was released. According to loved ones, Jovan started having seizures when he got out of the hospital. So he went back, started having complications. He was declared brain dead and was later pronounced dead on Monday evening. No, there are obviously still a lot of questions in this case that both police and the family are hoping that this autopsy may help answer. There's no timeline on when that may be completed. For now, reporting at Baloo High School in Southeast D.C., Michael Quander, WUSA 9. The medical examiner's office confirmed Javon's autopsy has already been completed. It's unclear when the report will be released. Tonight at 11, we'll have an interview with Jovan's mother to hear her side of this tragic situation. In the 